Now I'm sure that you've probably seen Deep Seek all over the place, the internet, the news and YouTube. And the reason for that is because it took over the number one spot in the iOS app store and it moved ChatGPT down to the number two spot, which is the most popular AI tool out there in my own personal opinion. And the main reason for this is that people say that DeepSeek is really good when it comes to helping with mathematical equations and, you know, doing deep analysis. And one of the ways that it can also help you is when it comes to building up an investment portfolio that can earn a passive income. And just to give you a quick background on how DeepSeek started, someone called Liang Wenfeng, if I said that right, started it. He was a former hedge fund manager who actually used AI bots when it came to helping him trade. He's built various different AI tools that's helped various different companies, you know, optimize their trading strategies. And now he's built DeepSeek, which is more for the public, but there's a certain way that you can use it when it comes to building up an investment portfolio. And signing up to DeepSeek isn't difficult to do and it's also free. All you need to do is just go over to deepseek.com, then click on start now. All you need is an email address for you to register. And once you have completed the sign up process, this is the next page that you're going to see. Now, for those of you that are watching that are completely new to this concept, you've never seen anything like this before, for, it works in a similar way to ChatGPT in the sense that all you need to do is enter a simple question into this box and then from there you're going to be able to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with it. So as you can see it's a super simple layout. We've got this prompt box over here. We've got you know all of the chats that are going to appear on the left hand side over here. But what I'm going to do is just enter this prompt. I'm going to say that I have $3,000 what is the best way for me to invest it into index funds and crypto to earn a passive income over the next 12 months with minimum involvement? And just to explain why I've put this particular prompt, in this video, I'm going to show you live how I'm going to invest around £3,000, maybe £2,500. It depends on how much I've got in my account. And I'm also going to do it in the form of index funds and crypto. Index funds is part of the stock market but it's a more passive way of being able to capitalize from it and of course crypto you guys know exactly what this is so i'm just going to enter a prompt just like this you can tailor it to your own satisfaction your own situation if you want to put five hundred dollars two hundred dollars one hundred dollars or even ten thousand dollars it's completely up to you but i'm just going to type this in and then click on enter okay perfect and just like that as you can see it's now come back with the entire plan of exactly what I need to do when it comes to investing the $3,000 that I want to put into the markets. So it's given me the splits of exactly how I should do it. And it's also given me a clear allocation example. So it's come back with things like the S&P 500. I should put maybe $1,800 into it. You know, if I want to invest into Ethereum, it's also come back with Solana as well. If I had tools like this when I first started investing, things would have been a lot more clearer because I was completely confused on exactly how I should do it. And because of that, I ended up losing a lot of money. But over the years, of course, through trial and error, I've learned the best way for me to make a passive income. And tools like this have definitely clarified the best way to do it and the strategy that I'm using right now. But now that I've got a clear idea of exactly how to portion this $3,000 into all of these different investment assets, e.g. the S&P 500, Ethereum, Solana, Bitcoin, what I'm going to do now is just go over to another one of my portfolios over here. And I'm just going to switch over to a brand new account. And in this portfolio, there's already £200 in it, but that was from a while ago. And I just recently added £2,500 for the sake of this video so that we can put it into something like the S&P 500 according to DeepSeek and see how it performs over the next few months. So what I'm going to do is just come over here to quick start a pie. And the way that a pie works in this case is that I'm going to be able to choose the specific things that I want to invest into. So what I'm going to do is just click on build a custom pie and I'm going to add instruments. And the main index fund that DeepSeek said I should buy into is the S&P 500. So I'm just going to search for it just like this. Okay, so there's this one over here. I'm just going to click into it. I'm going to add this to the pie and I'm going to go to next. So as you guys can see over here, this portfolio is letting me know that I'm going to be able to get back 15% annual returns when it comes to buying into the S&P 500, which is pretty decent. So what I'm going to do is click on next 
and then I'm just gonna come over here and it's gonna be on this page that I'm now going to enter the amount that I want to invest. So I'm just gonna click on it just like that, click on next and then click on confirm. Okay, great, so that's now been done and I've invested into the S&P 500 based on the advice that DeepSeek gave me and I'll do that anyway because I've been investing for a while, but these are the steps that you guys may wanna follow and of course, Anything I'm saying in this video that you don't wanna do, you don't feel comfortable with, you don't have to do because it's not financial advice. All I'm doing is simply showing you what I personally do myself when it comes to getting a better idea of exactly how to put my money to work rather than having it sit in a bank account, not earning me any money whatsoever. But moving on to the next part of this video, which is gonna be me investing into crypto for me to earn a passive income. And to be honest with you, I would say that beginners should stay away from crypto because it can be quite volatile. One minute you can be up 10%, next minute you can be down 10%. So if you are going to invest into crypto, you wanna make sure that you're investing money that you don't need in the present moment. And of course you wanna make sure that you're using AI tools like DeepSeek. When it comes to knowing which crypto projects have utility, and are going to last over the long term. So what I'm gonna do is just go onto my Coinbase account. And in this account, I'm just going to split up this $580 into Ethereum and Solana. It's a simple process. All I'm gonna do is just click on buy crypto with cash. And I'm gonna put around 300, maybe around 200 pounds into crypto. So let's just click on buy now. And then what I'm gonna do is come over to Solano and I'm going to buy into it. Maybe just put another 200 pounds into this one. Click on review order and do it again. And that's basically it guys. That's the process of what you need to do when it comes to earning a passive income. Now, of course, there's always going to be dips. There's always going to be ups. There's always going to be downs, but it's about sticking with it. It's about being consistent. It's about not panicking. And it's also making sure that you know exactly what you're investing into and how these different things work. And just as a reminder, the reason why I'm making this particular video is because everything that you just saw me do now has been the easiest way that I've been able to make a passive income. Once you buy into the things that you just saw me buy into and you're able to be patient, you're gonna to start to see the profit, the dividends coming in slowly but surely. And I do wanna emphasize that everything I've said in this video is not about doing a get rich quick scheme. I'm not saying that you're gonna be able to buy into these things and make thousands of dollars overnight. You do need to have a level of patience when it comes to doing this. And you also need to be aware of the fact that it's gonna take continuous monthly, weekly dollar cost averaging. This is where you're buying into these different assets on a consistent basis over a period of time. And that's why I always tell beginners that yes, a passive income is great, but you also need to have the mindset of building up an active income as well. Having some sort of a side hustle or online business that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to earning revenue, sales, and profits is gonna be the best way for you to capitalize from all of these different investment assets that I've shown you. And I actually recently just made a video where I went through some of the best side hustles that you can start using the power of AI so that you don't need to do all of the work yourself. You're gonna be able to utilize bots like DeepSeek and other ones when it comes to building up a passive income side hustle. So just click the link over there, watch that video straight after this because that video has helped out so many people. I've gotten so much good feedback from it and I'm sure that it's gonna help you out too. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.